Hello there, people of the Webernet. The Sheep Killer here. Welcome back to Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. These two guys look the same. Last time we started our adventure, and Professor Crane got kidnapped. But we gotta head to this place, a lively seaport with active trade. Loitering sailors are a common sight. We gotta head here to collect a machine part required for the Pure Five Chamber. Wow, big brother. Look, look, it's the sea! The sea! It's so big! Listen, listen, the parts shop is over there. How are you, big brother? This way, this way! Ouchies! Joey fell down! Hey now, where do you think you're going? Oh, sorry. Jovia, sorry. It wasn't on purpose. And look what you've done! You've messed up the happening look of Zook, the coolest, baddest, and most happening guy around. Uh, sorry doesn't begin to cut it! Huh? You there. Yeah, you, punk. You're with this munchkin, aren't you? And looks to me like you're a trainer. You look like you'll be a million times more fun than some munchkin. I'll stomp you flat with my shadow Pokemon! That's quite enough of that. Pokemon are meant to be used in such a manner. Choose your place in time. Shut it! Hey, meddling senior citizen, take your preaching to someone who cares! Or do you want me to pound you too? Mr. Varric, perhaps I should. Huh? And who do you think you are? So now you're going to play the man and stop me? This gets better by the minute. Let's see you try. And they get to watch other people battle. This dude's got a Shadow Zangus, and Mystery Man Ardos has an Alakazam. And he goes for Psychic. And one shots the Zangoose. If only we could have snagged that guy. But whatever. Mystery Man Ardos defeated Thug Zook. Get your power. Where does it come from? You've done it now. Don't think you're getting away with messing with the great Zook. Remember this. Should I give chase? No, no, that won't be necessary. He won't come back. Leave him be. Yes, sir. Let us be on our way. Um, thank you. Ho ho ho. That heart deserves such gratitude, my little lady. We did only what had to be done, nothing more. Who could those guys be? Well, let's move on. Jovi? Is that you, Jovi? Oh, Emily and Acri. Jovi! So it was you, Jovi, being harassed by that big strange man. Were you okay? Yep, strong people helped us. Big Brother was there too, so nothing bad happened. Jovi came here on an important visit. Big Brother is Jovi's assistant today. Oh, you must be Jovi's brother. Did she kill her? I'm glad we finally met. I'm Emily. Hi, Jovi's big brother. Jovi has been a very nice friend to my daughter, Emily. That elderly gentleman's name is Mr. Varric. He comes here by boat with his two assistants occasionally. There's something mysterious about him, don't you think? He's supposed to be fabulously wealthy. Rumors like that give me shivers. I'm hoping to become a novelist whenever I come across anything mysterious. I try to imagine a story about it. Anyways, be careful in this town. There are lots of rough customers about. Emily, we should be going. Okay, bye-bye, Jovi. Yep, see you, Emily. Away they go. Now let's continue onwards. That battle was awesome. Both sides of Wicked Pokemon. It was wild. Uh oh I forgot I was supposed to get on my errand. And anything in here? I know this isn't where we're supposed to go, but we'll check it out anyway. Oh, it's their house. I think we're writing a novel with the character modeled after the much-talked-about Mr. Varric, who is a mysterious gentleman that suddenly arrived in Gateon Port. 
at times a generous tycoon by his true identity. A swashbuckling thief! How does that for a story premise? Doesn't get your heart racing? Wouldn't it be crazy if Mr. Varric was secretly a supervillain, a super evil guy? Wouldn't that be something? Let's go through here. This is where we're supposed to go. The shopkeeper's not around today. That old man must be at Dr. Kaminko's place again. It's a mystery to me why he'd be friends with that odd doctor who's involved in downright eccentric research. The shopkeeper wasn't thinking straight when he got that clueless newbie to look after the shop. Now me, a regular customer, would be able to serve customers a lot better. Hi, did you want something here? The shopkeeper's out right now. He's something about having to go out to Dr. Kamin... Uh, what was it now? Well, that doctor's manor is where he went. He said his grandson, Purr, will be back from repairing the rotating bridges. So I'm supposed to mind the shop until then. But I don't know where anything is or how to ring up a sale or anything. I have no clue what to do. I suppose it doesn't matter, though. It's really quiet here. I'm getting awfully bored, really. If you'd like, how about you help me while some time away? I've got a tale to tell you that you may find interesting. When I was younger, I sailed all the world's seas as a navigator. Our world is huge, and this huge world is filled with an incredible profusion of Pokémon. Of all the Pokémon in our world, the one I found to be the most interesting is Eevee. Now, Eevee is a unique Pokémon. It can evolve into five different kinds of Pokémon, you see. You went around the entire world, and you only discovered five of Eevee's evolutions? There's at least eight of those things now, come on. While I sailed, I studied Eevee quite exhaustively. As a result, I obtained five items that are the keys to Eevee's evolution. Oh, you say that you're raising an Eevee? What a fortuitous coincidence! This must have been meant to happen! Well, let me commemorate this occasion by giving you one of five items. There's no need to be shy about it. Go ahead, choose one. The Water Stone, Thunder Stone, Fire Stone, Moon Shard, and Sun Shard. These are simply used on Eevee to evolve into its various evolutions. And this, give it to an Eevee, and it'll evolve into Umbreon. Give this to, es to Eevee and evolve into Espeon upon leveling up for both of them. The only ones of these I can really recommend are Jolteon, Vaporeon, and Espeon. Umbreon's more of a wall, and Flareon is just bad until, like, Gen 6. But yeah, if you don't plan on raising your Eevee, then just pick out a stone that matches whatever team you're planning up. But me, I am going to be using Eevee and evolving it into Vaporeon. Here we go. You're so lucky, big brother. Jovi wants something, too. Okay. Well, let's check out this water stone. I don't see any reason why we would not evolve Eevee right now. If we wait too late to evolve Eevee, we'll miss out on learning some water moves, so... Yeah, better to evolve it early. And here we have Vaporeon. Let's check out our Vaporeon here. They have quite a bit of HP, of course. And there's his stats now. Special attack's the highest, and there's Teddy Ursa as well. He's got Pickup, which could be good. Yeah, we'll want to keep Teddy Ursa in our party until we have our full team assembled, most likely, because of the Pickup ability. What's that you now? If you want to speak to someone from the shop, this one repairing the bridge outside, that's who you should speak to. I wish someone from the shop would come back soon. It's not easy standing to a shop like this. Bridge repair? The bridge over by the sea? That bridge moves when you step on the button in the middle. Okay, so let's check out a bridge like that. Over here. What about you? Oh, we can't talk to you yet. This must be the guy. What kind of real life city was seriously designed bridges like this? That's what I want to know. Whew, that settles that. All fixed. You want to talk to me? Yeah, the parts shop is ours. Huh? You need a machine part? Where's Grandpa? He's gone off to Dr. Kaminko's. Ah, well, my Grandpa gets excited over some mechanical thing. He's off like a shot. Never mind the shop or his grandson, me. I'll find that machine part you need. Can I get you to come to our shop? Man, Grandpa should be so lucky to have a caring grandson like me looking after him. Now, let's say you. If I could talk to you. I'm glad the bridges have been fixed. If they're stuck, no ship can get in or out of the harbor. The bridges move when you step on the button in the middle section. Well, let's go back in the shop, see if we can get that machine part. Hello. Sorry we were out. A machine part, you said, right? Seems they got it stored in a safe, which has nothing in there. Here it is, here it is. This is it, here you go. It's a rare item, that machine part. It took a while to get the order in. How's your director, Professor Crane, doing? 
We explained the situation. Huh? The HQ Lab's director was abducted by some goons with Shadow Pokemon. I went through something like that before, but who would have thought it'd happen again? I hope the lab director's found. I'll be rooting for you, so don't give up. Okay, well, now that we got that machine part, we're free to leave if we want, but why not explore? I don't see any reason why we would not. Let's go up here. Let's talk to this guy. See what he wants. The sea is wide and it's fathoms deep, so full of Pokemon it'll make you weep. Huh? What's up, kid? You were captivated by my singing? Oh, well, you know, I play second at the Krabby Club's music... Cla Krabby Club? Krabby Club's music contest. Uh-huh, I bet you did. I bet you did indeed. You know how to bring a smile to my face. Brr. What happens if we say no? Oh, you weren't? Let me guess. You came for a Pokemon battle, right? If you can beat me, you'll get something good. Well, if we get a reward for this, then heck yeah, I'll battle Sailor Boss. It'll be our first battle with Shadow Teddy Ursa and Vaporeon. Vaporeon has a pretty good special attack stat here, but we don't get to take to make much use of it quite yet. Let's just focus on the Meryl for now. That did a decent amount. Now Teddy Ursa's turn. Down goes Meryl, and Reverse Mode. It's not called Hyper Mode in this game, it's called Reverse Mode. Pretty sure it works the same as Hyper Mode. It also doesn't stop your turn when it happens, but also it hurts you. So there's there's things that, there's things about it that are better and worse than Coliseum, but mainly better. Oh, and look at that, look how much the meter went down. I played a little bit off screen as well, just to make sure my game was working, and Reverse Mode never happened while I was playing. But of course it happens right away when recording. You showed me who's best. Yep, and now what are you gonna give me? Oh, who would've thought it? Me, it was a kid like you. Now this were singing, I'd have you beat. You would. Have you guys heard me sing before? I would like to think I'm not good. But I promised I'll give you this, kid. TM45, isn't that like a tract or some crud? Sing for what we go say. Whalmer. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's like a tract or some crud. Yeah, it's a tract. We're not gonna use a tract. Now I'm gonna wait to check out the bridges. We'll do everything else first. What about you? That luxury cruiser moored behind the parts shop belongs to Mr. Varric. Oh, so that's that ship we saw by that singing sailor. A Pokemon Center? We need to heal. You know already, don't you? No. Is that right? Then I better tell you, you should know, though. Oh, he's talking about the Pokemon Center. Yep, the Pokemon Center and the Pokemart. This place has got them both. Now look here, boy. The Krabby Club is open only to tough trainers. I suppose I could let you in if you could beat me in a battle. Let's go for it. Navigator Burke. We have to beat this guy up if we want to go inside the Krabby Club. Wingle and Lotad. They point on sparkles a little bit. That's pretty cool. Teddy Ursa learned Lick. Okay. We can Lick Crud now if we want. And down goes Lotad thanks to a critical. Shadow Blitz. And one shot again. I mean, we are like five levels ahead of these guys. And reverse mode again. Mm hmm. I lose. You really are quite wonderful. Yep, so now we have permission to enter the Krabby Club. You're quite strong, I must admit. A sense of fantastic potential in you as a trainer of Pokemon. The more you battle, the stronger but one shall grow. You left you put in the effort. There's no rule forbidding anyone but tough trainers from entering the Krabby Club. We have so much idle time on our hands, I decided to play a little prank on you. <laughs> that isn't actually a rule. He just wanted to battle me. Which is fine. It helps Teddy Ursa get purified a little bit. Now let's enter the Krabby Club. I bet they have Krabbies in here. Where's the Krabby? Where is Krabby? This is fake news. Oh, here's the Krabbies. So this is where the Krabbies are. There's there's no clickbait after all. And you can't get her stuck like you could Rui in Coliseum, it looks like. But the good thing about that is we don't have Jovi with us for the entire game, like we did Rui in Coliseum. And all these guys are here. Mr. Varric tends to his many important business undertakings from Gateon Port. We do a lot of traveling from here. When we get some rare time off, we like to relax and unwind leisurely. I ask that you keep it quiet and refrain from disturbing us. Hmm? Oh, the kids from earlier. Thank you, Mr. Cool Man. Jovi, thanks for saving Jovi earlier. Oh, is that all? That was merely putting a fool in his place. Don't worry about it. Okay, so that guy's name is Ardos. What about this guy? We don't know his name yet. But it looks like that's it for the Krabby Club. And now we can move on. Oh, what's back there? Oh, there's another room. But let's see what's downstairs. An item chest. I'm glad we went here. Super potion. That could be useful on Vaporeon, who has a lot of HP. Well, I'm glad we explored. We did end up getting an item. With that, we're done with the Krabby Club. It was mostly just talking to random NPCs. 
Potion, potion. We see a fragment of stock of potions on the board. Unlike dry land, it's not a Pokemon Center to be seen on the open sea. So you never want to be caught short on potions. Let me give you a potion. It's convenient, I tell you. Yep. Even on dry land, it's in certain situations, that potion will be more trusty than a Pokemon Center. Yep, for nowhere near the healing spot, potions will come in handy. They don't sell Pokeballs yet. Just this random stuff. A Munchlax. A Gen 4 Pokemon in a Gen 3 game. If Pokemon need to rest, nothing better than a Pokemon Center. Why even seniors like me visit to rest on an occasion? Are you secretly a Pokemon? Now let's check out those moving bridges. It's the only thing we haven't seen yet. You know, there's always a chance we're not allowed on there yet. Seems like we are, though. Now what's over here? It connects to this spot. All the way over here. And there's this dude. Hey, welcome, youngster. No words need to be spoken. No questions need to be asked. We shall battle, yes? Yeah, we will. Aye, right, good answer. A battle with the feisty guys. One to be saber. Let's go! Casual guy, Kyle, with a C. It's Halo and Lediba. But that's no ordinary Lediba. It's a Shadow Lediba. Yeah, this random dude has a Shadow Pokemon. And I honestly don't even know why. He just does. Maybe some shady guy gave it to him. Shadow Bullets going in. Yeah, if you haven't noticed by now, Shadow type, the Shadow type works differently than it does in Colosseum. Instead of being neutral and everything, it's super effective on everything. And there's different Shadow moves than Shadow Rush. There's, qu there's quite a bit of them. Tibbin Nature? Wow. That's bad. Yeah, Shadow Mist. It's, it cuts their evasiveness. Okay. I'm not going to use that. We'll use, I accidentally used Shadow Mist anyway. Whatever. One damage. But he was weak, and they're using that for effective move. Yeah, it's super effective on all regular types, but it's not very effective on Shadow types. On Shadow Pokemon. But, yeah, let's go for Shadow Miss. Why not? Why not, dude? Lower their evasiveness for no reason. And there's Reverse Mode. But we'll use Tackle. I don't want to kill the Lediba. I mean, I bet we can rematch this guy, but still. Teddy is just getting pretty close to being purified. That's good to see. Shadow Blitz. Why are they using that on Teddy Ursa? I don't even know what you're doing, you crud. Oh, they could take one more of those. Let's use Tackle and... Oh, you learn Metal Claw now. We'll use Shadow Blitz. That shouldn't kill. Oh, Shadow Shed. It failed. I don't remember what that does, but it failed. Critical hit! Please don't do anything, Teddy Ursa. Please just do, like, two damage. Good. Good. That was almost bad, and there's reverse mode. Here we are. And then we'll call Teddy Ursa. Not that I think we'll get a chance to, because I highly doubt we're going to fail catching a Lediba. Yep. We caught the Lediba. And we defeated casual guy Kyle with the C. Would you lose? No, sir. Hmm, too bad. I guess I lost that one. The machine you have on your arm is quite a getup. The way the lights pulse and all, it's mighty impressive, whatever it is. I thought for a second there that you'd taken my Pokemon. You know that. Ever since I battled with you, I've been missing a Pokemon. It's an important, precious even Pokemon I got as a gift. Do you have any idea what, what became of it? He did get it from someone. See, I'm guessing some, some shady dude gave it to him. And now it's gone. But whatever. There we go. Let's get the item chest. And we'll enter that building as well. Must be a lighthouse. Three Pokeballs. Heck yeah. We can't buy those yet, so that's that'll always be useful. And Teddy Ursa has an item, but we can't take it. Oh, never mind. We can. And another item chest. A potion. Okay. And no, I'm not going to use a potion on Lediba. I don't think we have any more battles here in the port. So we just gotta check out this place, and then that'll be it. Upstairs. There's probably more crud to it for us to get. There's a person here. Now, now you're a rare child. Most people take the elevator. Are you doing this for exercise? I'm doing it to explore. I'm going. I'm taking the stairs to explore. And to pick up any items along the way. And yep, another item chest. Awakening. Oh, well, we could sell that. Nice. Awakenings are still useless, of course. Any items here? There's a person. I look down from the top of the lighthouse. I get frightened as if I'm being sucked down, but that sensation of falling, it grows on you. Okay. Let's 
go through here. Up the stairs once more. We made it to the top. Oh, there's people here. You see the island in the distance out the, at the outer sea? It's always obscured by clouds. If only those clouds weren't there, we would get gorgeous sunsets at dusk. Now that I think about that, I think we actually do have another battle here. Up top of the lighthouse. Let's talk to you. You there. You look a traitor me. Somebody give me a wickedly tough Pokemon. I'll test it out on you. It must be a shadow Pokemon. Someone's just giving them away. Zubat and Poochiena. Could it be a shadow Zubat? Nope, it's Shadow Poochiena. The Shadow Mightyena from Coliseum is almost real. Let's use Bite once more on the Zubat. Actually, that's our first time using it. Gets one shot because of how tough our Vaporeon is. Shadow Hold. I think that prevents us from escaping. Yep, it does. And it works on both opponents. Interesting. We'll use Bite once again and Shadow Blitz. Or no, we'll use Lick. Get a chance to paralyze. That'd be nice. We can use that, that set of moves once again. Can we paralyze? If we paralyze, we don't even have to go another turn. Ah, no paralyzed. But he flinched. He flinched from the bite. And yeah, now we'll spend this turn using bites, and we'll call Teddy Ursa. Teddy Ursa should be ready to purify after this. Looks like it. Yeah, let's go for bite. Hopefully we don't get a crit. We don't. Now it's time to catch this crud. After they go for Shadow Blitz. Not very effective. So let's throw a Pokeball now. We got six of these things. And we'll go for a lick in case we fail somehow. Oh, wait a second. I sh no, never mind. I was going to say I should have called, but I did that last turn, so we're fine. We're good. No need to lick it. We're good. Look at me pouring on sparkling right there. This Pokemon was too weak. Yep, and it's mine now. What's that all about? I joined that organization because they said that they gave me a strong Pokemon. Something that not, that's not like the usual ones. What was so tough about that? I was conned. You were? And what's that? In this game, you get notified by your PDA when your Shadow Pokemon can be purified. Teddy Ursa is ready to be purified. So we'll swap them out for Poochiana. But we're still going to keep Teddy Ursa in the party. Now that we're done up here... We can take the elevator to go down. No need to go back down the stairs. With that, we can go to the Pokemon Center, get healed up, and then head back to the lab. Actually, there's a healing center at the lab, and there's no battles there either, so we don't need to go to the Pokemon Center. Magnemite? Heck yeah. With that, we are completely done with the port for now. There might be more to do here later, but for now, that's everything. We even caught two Shadow Pokemon. Let's go to the Pokemon HQ lab. Return that machine part. We were gone for longer than we probably should have been. But here we are. Oh, Jeep here. Can you wait just one second? I found some more memos I wrote up with the director. I think you should have them. We get more crane memos. They'll give you basic information about Shadow Pokemon. I'd like you to read them over at least once. Okay, we'll do that. So, next time on Pokemon Co XD Gale Darkness, I almost said Coliseum. Yeah, next time on Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, we return the machine parts. And we'll read those crane memos too. But we've done plenty for now, so I'll see you guys next time. Happy hunting!